here's the fact. Everything works. Social media works, open houses work, direct mail works, Zillow works, they, it all works. Everything works. All I'm saying is, is what's the most effective? What's the most productive? How can I get to the people that I really need to get to? People have already decided when they want to buy or sell a property. They don't need us as a real estate agent to, to tell them you know, or try to get them to buy or sell something. They're already doing it, whether they've got it in their mind to do it now, next week, next month, next year, whenever it is, for whatever reason, they've already decided when that's gonna be. So our job is not to try to get people to buy or sell. Our job is to create a friendship with that person and, and with as many people as we can in our market so that we are their first choice when it, when they decide it's time for them to buy or sell. That's the name of the game right there. If you really want to build a massive business, NAR did a survey and the survey showed within consumers that the number one reason why people choose a real estate agent, okay, 31% of consumers uh, the reason was the reputation of the real estate agent, right? And the friendship that they have with that agent, right? That was a 31% overwhelming, uh, you know, largest reason why people choose a real estate agent. Um, now, whatever vehicle you use to create friendships, whatever vehicle you use to get yourself in front of people, whatever vehicle you use to find people in your market to communicate with and to create these great first impressions, that's up for debate. And then on the back end, once you create that first great impression, what's the vehicle that we're gonna to use to stay in front of them on a very consistent basis to build your personal brand with them? That way they never forget about that great first impression you had with them. You know, that's up for debate. Okay, so the vehicles we use to A, create the relationships and meet the people, and then B, to never let those people that we meet uh, ever forget who we are, those two vehicles, what, what we're gonna use is debatable, but the, the philosophy behind, you know, creating friends in the market at a very high frequency, staying in front of them and building your personal brand is not up for debate. If you want to build an incredibly, incredibly large, massive business, that I wanna know something better than what I do because I'm on this search, like I really wanna find a debate because I really wanna hear a different side and you guys are welcome to speak up. I would love to hear the other side of this, but no one has spoken up. I've asked people on Zoom calls for the last year. I've asked people on social media. I've asked, um, people at the speeches, no one has spoken up, okay? When I tell them this simple strategy, no one can tell me something better. As soon as I hear something better, and I realize it's better, then I'll start doing that, and I'll start preaching that. But until then, this is it, this is the top. There's not a close second place, all right? Instead of, you know, all the things that you guys do to create leads, like, social media, open houses, direct mail. I'm not saying don't do all these things, I'm just saying instead of all those things, buying leads, Zillow, um, you know, all the things that you guys do, all right, all those things come right back to the same action, which is a real conversation with someone. Conversation is the, the common denominator of all closings. Without a real live conversation, no deal's gonna happen. All right, so, so we know that. So if that's the case, and there's a, there's a program, there's software out there, there's, there's a way that I can grab the exact property owners I wanna do business with contact information for two cents a piece, and I know conversation is the key to all closings, right, and again, I can grab the exact property owners I wanna do business with contact information, go ahead and load me up with all those people's contact information, and I'll just have the conversations right here and there. If you notice, successful people keep things real simple. And people that don't succeed, they're making everything complicated, right? Everything's complicated and they're, you know, doing, trying to do too many things. You know, they're trying everything. Listen, here's the fact. Everything works. Social media works, open houses work, direct mail works, Zillow works, they, it all works. 
everything works. All I'm saying is, is what's the most effective? What's the most productive? How can I get to the people that I really need to get to? And if conversation is going to be the end result of any of those things anyway, right? So that's my entire strategy, right? It's real simple. I just want to talk to every single property owner I can. I want to let them know I'm here for them. I want to talk to them like I'm like they're a real human, not just a number. All the mainstream training and coaching scripts are all about you know what the what the prospect can do for the agent. You know, like you don't know me, I don't know you, Mr. Seller, but will you sell your house so I can make some money? Here's a new development coming in town. Here's what I think about it. When you start giving your opinions on stuff, that's when people really start tuning into you. All the automation stuff and all the generic content stuff and all the national stats stuff and all the recipes that you're sending clients and all that stuff. Here's what I want you to do if you're sending recipes. Send out a recipe and say, I made this last week and it was amazing and and here's a little here's a little secret that they didn't put in the recipe. I think you should try this. Boom. Now they're now they're like, "Wow, but when you just send them a recipe, hell, if I need to know how to cook something, <laughs> I'm just going to go on Google. I don't need my real estate agent to tell me a recipe on how to cook shrimp etouffee." All right, or what color to paint my walls in the fall because that's what's popping right now. Like what they want is local real estate stats and your opinions on stuff and they want to feel like they have an inside connection. You know, great deals in the market. A lot of the people that tell you that will ghost you. Because, and so why? Because they're just telling you what they need to tell you to get you off the phone, A, and B, maybe they are kind of think teetering about selling, but they're not, they're on a scale of one to 10, they're probably at like a one in terms of motivation to actually sell. And what we're doing is put, we're putting people in category of they're either 100% motivated or they're not at all. And so if they, tell you, if they tell you that they might be a little bit, then you're thinking for sure this is a deal, when really chances are it's probably not. But the advice for me to you is, is once they do tell you what they want to do, sell in six months or whatever, our next move is, cool, tell me, tell me what's going on in six months. You know, let me, give me the backstory here. I, lo I love to hear what's going on so I can, you know, kind of put together a game plan and really be in position to help you, right? You got to think of yourself as like a politician who's just canvassing the market, banging the phones, letting everybody know who you are, what you do, and you're here to help. Think of it as like you're a volunteer worker doing community outreach to provide your services right, to the community, okay? And you wanna go as hard as you can, right? Because there's a people out there that need our help. There's people that need our help. Closings are happening every day with real estate agents. And we gotta get out there and find those people that need our help, you know? They need our help. And we're just sitting around, you know, certainly not doing what we need to do to reach as many people as we need to reach to see what we can do to help them, you know? Hey. Hey, this is Ricky Cruth at Whatever Real Estate Company right here in Whatever Market. How you doing today? Cool, me too. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Look, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but I saw your house was on the market a few years ago. Whatever happened with that? Bam! They tell you the whole story. Um... You know, I just want to deal with property owners for the most part. As a new agent, am I going to take on internet leads? Yep. Am I going to do for sale by owners? Yep. Am I going to, you know, do open houses? Yep. Direct mail? Yep. I'm going to do everything because I'm just trying to just throw a bunch of stuff out there and see what happens. I'm trying to just work as hard as I can to try to figure this whole thing out, you know, but it's all going to come back to conversations. No matter what vehicle you're using, it's all going to come back to conversations. So whatever you're doing, you know, you've got, here's the four pillars here. All right, the hierarchy of activities for real estate agents, here it is. The four most important activities is showing property, going to listing appointments, negotiating, and uh, writing offers. Writing, uh, showing property, negotiating deals, showing, negotiating, listing appointments, writing offers. Okay, those four at the top. Right below that, number two, those are all number one. Nothing trumps those. You can, you can, you know, you can disrupt your entire schedule and routine to go do one of those four activities. Nothing's more important. That's why we do everything. To show property, to negotiate, to write offers, and go to listing appointments. 
Okay, those are all number one. Number two is phone calls. And then number three is everything else. So you got into the business, right, that's predicated on talking to people you don't know to help them buy and sell real estate. That you, you're like, this is real estate. It, it's a business predicated on you talking to people you don't know to help them buy and sell real estate. That's the whole premise of real estate, of being a real estate agent. Right? And so you're telling me that you spent all this time and money and energy to take a test to get into an industry that's predicated on you talking to people you don't know to help them buy and sell real estate, but you're telling me that you won't do it because you're scared or you're telling me that you're scared to do it. So you basically spent all this time and money and, money and energy to get into an industry that you're scared to actually do. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I can't make sense out of this.